You have entered the Chronix rabbit hole. And Ellendale, thank you so much for your YouTube membership request and for bringing something new down the rabbit hole. This is San Marino's finalist for the Eurovision 2024. And the artist is Magara, and the song is 1111. Thank you so much, Ellen Dill, for bringing another amazing Eurovision band down the rabbit hole. I can't wait to see what this song is going to be about. Ellen Dill, thank you so much for another amazing write-up for mm -hmm. some context of what we're about to go in. We have no idea what this artist is all about, what the songs are about, and... To be honest, we actually didn't know where San Marino even was at first. No, we didn't. So I'm going to bring this up because I know I have found out, but Alana has not found out. So San Marino is actually part of Italy. It's the Republic oh, of San Marino. That's really cool. It is an enclaved microstate within central Italy near Rimini. It occupies 61 square kilometers and it is the third smallest state in Europe after the Holy See, which is in Italy, and the Principality of Monaco. That's cool. Yeah, I thought that's really cool. So it's a small little pocket that probably even has more power because of that. Let's find yeah. out the, the context behind this now. So it might render you speechless to come to know how the met, the metal band Magera from Spain became San Marino's representative for Eurovision 2024. Yeah, yeah. it's only possible because San Marino is a so-called microstate with just 33,000 inhabitants and therefore needs to invite artists from all over the wor world to their selection. Incredible. Of course, they only offer a small stage and don't have that many technical possibilities compared to the prestigious national finals of bigger countries but eurovision fans will always get to see some well-known faces from the other countries at univos per san marino the story gets even more incredible if you get to hear that magara already participated in the national final of their home country spain last year at benidorm fest but didn't make it to the eurovision despite reaching a good placement there Wow. However, as passionate Eurovision fans, Magueras, Magera didn't want to stop dreaming big and applied for San Marino's final. And the wheel has come full circle because they really won and fulfilled their dream to go to Eurovision one year after their dream was denied in Spain. Wow. Wow. Wow, that is so cool. A pretty romantic outcome, if you ask me. And moreover, it's a reason to celebrate if you're a metalhead, which we are. There are actually a few Eurovision contestants with rock elements in their songs, but Magera are the only band at Eurovision 2024 offering the full metal package without other influences. Frick yeah! Nice! <laughs> the color scheme they're going for is a feast for the eyes and will immediately hit you in the eye, Kyle and Alana. But it is evident that the contrast of colors is also being reflected in Magera's A sound. They are together since 2015, and no one will ever doubt that their singer Kenzie is commanding the stage at all times. Keep it in mind, the stage in San Marino is small. Just imagine how magnificent this will look with a high budget staging and on a gigantic stage in May. No kidding. <laughs> oh my God. I can't wait to see this and see what we are going to be getting into with Magara from San Marino. This is going to be absolutely amazing. Ellen Dill, I'm so excited to get into Megara with 1111. Yes. I'm not going to lie, the song title really got me thinking because we've seen 1111 many times, but it doesn't always have the greatest meaning Very when you're true. going into it. So having a metal band that is going to be entirely metal singing a song that is going to possibly have a darker tone to it than we are used to with Eurovision is something that I am looking forward to 110 percent and if you guys are going to if you guys love this as much as we do remember to head over to magara's channel give them a like show them some love and some support so that they know that you're going to be voting for them in may when they are on the big stage i can't wait for that too and i think this is really cool because mm -hmm. eurovision has a lot of poppy songs and like a lot of songs that fit into a category but mm -hmm. since this is the only song that is metal it means a lot to me knowing that san marino is such a small absolutely. pocket in europe so it kind of just makes sense what is happening here absolutely and i'm ready to rock on here so let's go chronicans here we go <laughs> Oh, 
She's got control, eh? Nice. Look at this cameraman. different that was unique that that definitely separates itself in a in a feel absolutely. from all the other ones that we've experienced so far right absolutely it yeah. does i love the, how this was like all metal and it wasn't like trying to be poppy or anything like that because it's going to eurovision yeah it's uh this band specifically R Magera, Magera really yeah. shows that they're not going to bend no compromise or compromise yeah just to be able to get on stage somewhere else so like no like yes. we know we're awesome we know we have a great message we know we're a ton of fun on stage so oh my god are they ever the, Kenzie's oh, insane so much. Kenzie is insane <laughs> I wasn't expecting um when they took off all the like fluffiness um, that yes. they were going to be literal skeletons. That yeah, style. I didn't expect that either. It was shocking in all the correct ways, yes. especially for the lyrics of the song. The song is about, hey, like we're breaking up and all these things. And like you're saying that I'm too obsessed with one thing and like I like to party, but I like rock and you're acting like I'm supposed to be sad, but I'm not. Yeah, so here's right? my true self. Here's my true self. Where like, I was a puppet before in those things. Absolutely. Right? I was a escaped. puppet in your chains having right. to listen to all this shit that you're telling me. No kidding, right? But now that you're gone, you expect me to be sad, but now I'm free. You've given me my freedom. The trash no took kidding. itself out. What no do you kidding. expect me to do? Yeah, yeah, party? yeah. Party? Exactly. And like the drummer, I don't know if you noticed the drummer, but she was insane. Incredible rhythm there it, it had that rhythm. awesome kind of offbeat that just kept it fresh and funky Absolutely. and even like kind of changed a little bit and it didn't sound very metally it almost sounded kind of like futuristic and stuff yeah they had, it was awesome they had like almost like a dj kind of aspect yeah that yeah, yeah. that was a sweet that. moment 
those sweet moments. Yeah. Um, I loved how every single person, because it was a four piece band, I love how every single person was super energetic. The drummer was Definitely. like singing and like fully animated yeah. the whole time. Very animated. Both guitarists were extremely animated. Yeah. But Kenzie definitely was the conductor of the whole show. She shebang. feels the show, doesn't she? She feels the show. Literally on stage. steals the camera's attention. She's like, come here, I'm coming over here. A lot of improv. I think every yeah. single time you see them, she's going to do a little something different every time. Absolutely. But yet, even within that, there was so much um, that was co uh, choreographed oh, as well. Absolutely, of course. So it it was uh, the perfect blend, blend yes. really, of having that choreographed moments, having those improv moments. Everyone's really shining the best they can. The song is very uplifting. It was. Um, I had mentioned eleven eleven. How sometimes it doesn't always have the greatest meaning, and that's because we've I've seen it a lot in horror movies. It's very meaning true. like don't pass, don't go any forward like nothing bad will happen after this and so i had asked kyle to kind of look up the meaning of 11 11 yeah, yeah. but then when you look it up on google it's just like hey this is an angel number meaning that you know everything from this point you know it's a big changing moment in time a big changing moment that's going to come through for someone which is kind of what it means for with, her if it's a breakup and, and if this that. is a breakup yeah that looks terrifying but this changing moment is really like hey you expected me to be upset but now i'm going to control my freedom yeah, and I no think kidding. that is absolutely gorgeous how in a lot of these female fronted metal bands that yeah. they're taking something that is supposed to be tragic for them and using mm -hmm. it to turn into like this amazing female power. Look, that they're uplift gonna them and uplift them into stardom sometimes. Absolutely. <laughs> right? And what, what's so cool is they never compromised and they still made it. Can yeah. you imagine like you just try, you don't make it, but then you're like, let's stay we're focus and then maybe something will get us there and then that's so cool that san marino needs to have other people come to them mm -hmm. and like but then they have to kind of be happy with obviously what they're putting in as a stamp for san marino as well Absolutely. even though these people are from spain then i'd like to know what spain's pick is as well and what made yeah. it over it i'd also love to know where it is on the odds because i'm always like interested about that i'd love to see what website shows where all oh, the of the collections are right. the odds how everyone's doing and just how the world can help because now the world can vote this time yeah. this year. So I think it's just something that we want to be a part of to try to help make sure that at least people from our side of the world know how to be a part of this because and this is incredible. It is incredible. And I'm so excited that we're able to be a part of this now with that world voting because now it's turning Eurovision into like a world phenomenon, in a global phenomenon instead of just being a European phenomenon. Yeah. And so like this is like, excelling to such an insane amount. And I'm so happy for it because there are so many amazing bands that we would not know about Absolutely. if Eurovision wasn't becoming this global phenomenon that it is this year. Yeah, so thank you so much, Ellendale, again for bringing Eurovision 24 down the rabbit hole. And this was San Marino's version. We got some metal, which I was not expecting yes. at all. So thank you so much for that. If you all have been having a great time with our Eurovision journey, please let us know in the comments below what other country we should bring down the rabbit hole. And if you guys had a good time, just hit that like button on your way out because we are now exiting the rabbit hole, folks. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you, Ellen Dill, for bringing Megara back down the rabbit hole. Don't forget to go give them a like and support their channel. And like this video as well if you like this reaction. This was absolutely insane. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you so much for making it all the way to the very end of the video. And if you have not yet done this, here's an easy way to subscribe to our channel. And if you want to subscribe to the artist that you just heard, here's an easy way to do that as well. And if you are also interested in finding a video that you might like, just click here. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care. Bye for now.